all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we we'll bring you back-to-back -back update and information as to the world in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that um whenever our news is dropping you will be the first one collect them let's go down to the news proper as to the world uh, as to the channel now the members of the ipob the, the indigenous people of biafra uh, they don't open the nash. They say uh, if breeze blow, they go see the nash of the chicken. I see they they don't open the nash of the chicken. Politicians will be say they they behind uh, uh, making sure that uh, Mazen Nam the Kano is not released from the DSS detention according to their plan. Uh, they want him to be sent straight uh, to Kuje prison. And for me. Uh, I'm wondering why a brother man, a statesman, we want his own statesman, his brother, uh, to be remanded in Kuja prison. And sometimes I begin to wonder, what are they going to gain from it? And on another thought, I said, well, um, they are politicians. It seems as if what Mazen Nekano is doing uh, is against their agenda. Uh, because uh, for me, I know that as far as Africa is concerned, uh, nobody will get to that kind of echelon of power, governor, or president, uh, and want, or maybe a minister or senator. Uh, the kind of millions those people are enjoying there, uh, none of them would want uh, for this issue of Biafra stuff to come and rearrange everything they have been doing. So they, I think um, to them, uh, they believe that uh, bringing Mazen and the canon out from that DSS detention and allowing him go back to England is more or so a more problem for them but meanwhile let's go down to the full detail of the information so that you can see those that ipob has named as those who are involved making everything possible and sure that mazin and the canal will not come out of that dss detention but rather to be remanded in kuja prison now as it be ipob accuses Mwike, those are them okorocha orders of plotting against canals release issues warning according to ipob the politicians and businessmen are pushing for Kano to be remanded in custody of the Department of State Service of Kuje Prison. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has revealed that its intelligent team has exposed a covert plan by certain prominent South Southern politicians, Southern governors, politicians, and businessmen. They aim to lobby and exert pressure on Supreme Court justice to detain its leader Nam De Kano following the court's judgment on December 15, 2023. According to IPOB, the politicians and businessmen are pushing for Kano to be reminded in custody of the Department of State Service or Kuje Prison. IPOB, in a statement issued on Monday by its media and public secretary, Emma Powerful, identified those alleged making the plot to indulge. The Minister of Federal Capital Territory, Yes on Wike, billionaire businessman Sir Emeka Offer from Anambra State, and Governor Francis Mufru Pitamba, Gov Francis Mufru Pitamba, who opposed the demand of Ebony and Enugu State, respectively. <laughs> um, if all these governors are actually involved, uh, it means that um, Otilo, Kakana, uh, but Otitiwo, Otimi, Otiabobo, Tinti, Atata. As it be, they say others listed are former governor of Imo State, Senator Rochas Okorocha, Oyo Magnet Atweze, and a traditional ruler, His Royal Highness Cletus Ilo Mwanya. IPOB warned the politicians and businessmen against the manifestation of the alleged plot or face severe consequences. It alleged that the idea to keep our leader, Kano, in detention was brought forward by some people in our land who claim to be millionaires and politicians. We call on Biafrans and particularly IPOB members worldwide to hold persons named responsible should anything unwanted happen to our leader, Mazen Nandekano, and if he is not released on Friday 15th of December 2023, it's said. Powerful further alleged some of these people played active roles in the kidnap and extraordinary rendition of Mazen Nandekano from Kenya to Nigeria and his continuous illegal detention, and we have not forgotten. President Ahmed Bolatinubu's government 
the Supreme Court Justice of Nigeria must not oblige those pressuring them not to release Mazana and Kano unconditionally on the 5th of December via the Apex Court judgment. The federal government and the Supreme Court of Nigeria cannot ignore the rule of law and consent to the wishes of selfish individuals working for their pocket and who are also against the Nigeria state. This group of men are not only acting wickedly against Mazen and the Kano, but are also sabotaging the image of the Nigeria state. They are enemies of Nigerians and enemies of peace. The IPOB movement worldwide call on the Supreme Court of Nigeria never to succumb to blackmail and intimidation from greedy people and fail to release Mazen and the Kano who had been illegally incarcerated for over 30 months. IPOB warned that should the Supreme Court fail to release Mazen and the Kano on December 15, 2023, IPOB will equally hold the federal government of Nigeria and the Supreme Court of Justice responsible too. We are patiently waiting to see if the Supreme Court Justice will be courageous enough to dispense justice. Mazen and the Kano has not committed any crime known to law. We are not begging for his release because he never committed any crime and has no charge against him. IPOB has endured enough provocation and persecution, and we will not endure the oppression of Nigeria and its security agencies anymore. It added, eh, when I don't see as it happened, this one they come from Maze, Emma Powerful, eh, will be the spokesperson of the indigenous people of Biafra. Eh, you can see all that information will be say at the Pali give you there. According to the man, he said that these people will be saying in them here, uh, he said that them they again say make Mazen and the Kano no come out from the GSS detention. Uh, he said that their main plan uh, is to make sure uh, that Kano uh, is either he remains in the GSS detention or he is being moved to Kuje prison, which is not good for him. And IPOB members are saying, hey, in case something like this happen, oh, uh, this is the people you people are to hold. And according to the IPOB, they say if Kano is not released uh, on the 15th of December, hmm, they say now allow, see even the federal government go hear them, uh, even the what is they calling them too. All of them, uh, former governors and governors, waste day inside the plot. They say all of them go hear them. Say all one or there, Kamalun Benab and Kemegene and Kebo. Okay, as see the B man, I say. Uh, uh, make you know thyself because now uh, we see the column now the rats waiting for house and uh, now you go tell the one uh, we know they see uh, you get fish where we say they for the portal uh, say me will go there me will go scatter the fish but I see the be uh, God's name be praised uh, they say our oh, president don't open loan up oh. uh, they say don't open presidential uh, conditional Loan open apply today at www.federalgrantloan.government.ng. Uh, I say, make I bring them to you in case you define a way, make you still apply for the money now. Our money, all of us get them. Uh, but I see they be uh, if not for this particular one, why I read out here for you? No, go apply for another one. Oh, uh, make I stay bring them again for you. They say now www.fedgrant fed fed grant loan okay fed grant and loan dot government dot ng let me spell it for you so that you'll be able to get it in case you want to apply ww dot f e d g r a n t a n d l o n dot g o v dot ng and i be that one once you hit them uh, you go see as it be for that matter. Uh, if you favor you, uh, make you collect. If the government come back for their money, kwano, try pay them. No go they do um strong head. Say now your father money, now your father money. Uh, government come for you. It don't be you. They say very soon you go reach Nigeria. Say as they cite damaged Rolls Royce calling and abandoned on the street of New York. Uh, if you buy expensive car, buy the one where you go maintain. No, uh, as you buy Rolls Royce, they buy Lamborghini. They buy porch cannons. Make sure, say, uh, at one time or the other, uh, you will be able to maintain that particular car. Because I think um, uh, even though, sir, even glass, uh, 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 what did they call them? 
uh, a side mirror Rolls Royce can buy one car or even two or three. Uh, even the way to the call and the tire self, uh, if you buy like three cars, now so the car be because that car plenty, uh, that car costs you plenty. Meanwhile, now here I go to wind down the course. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first welcome. Thank you for listening. God bless you.